I made over 100,000 procedurally generated guns and here's how. Hi guys, I'm Bobsy and let's get to it. These weapons are procedurally generated using a body with attachment type system. There are different bodies and every body can have 6 attachments. These are a scope, a barrel, a stock, a pistol grip, a forward grip and of course a magazine. Firstly, I started working on making super basic models for weapon parts. I simply just used Pro Builder for this. This way I could make them in no time and properly test with. From here, I grabbed the bodies and started adding the placement of the attachments. I simply do this by adding empty game objects as a child of the body to act as positions. I then started building a script with a bunch of lists to keep track of the individual types of parts. From there, it's pretty easy going. I simply spawn the body, grab the positions and instantiate the individual parts and boom, we've got visuals for the gun. And it's looking pretty nice. But I don't want just the visuals. I want actual stats on the gun too. And I want these stats to follow with the attachments. For this, I created individual scripts that hold the modifiers for each weapon part. All I got to do from here is simply grab the stats of the part as I spawn them and add them to the base stats, which I set on the body. I can just do this when I spawn them and voila, we got working stats as well. Now let's move on to having an actual gun to shoot with a basic animation setup. To do this, I shoot a raycast from the gun, I add some randomization to the direction of this raycast and I add the accuracy stat to this. I also change the fire rate depending on the fire rate stat and the damage depending on the damage stat. There's also a damage variation as to not always deal the same amount of damage. I also made this very basic looking recoil animation to the gun and simply multiply the speed of this with the fire rate. So this way the recoil will match the fire rate using the same animation. It's not being lazy, I'm just working smart. Uh, okay, let's move on. I also set up a basic fire range to shoot at some target dummies to test. I did this using free asset store packs for a dummy and the environment. But when I got bored of this environment, I chose to make some shooting bean guys because, well, I don't really know. But just look how satisfying this has turned out. And here are some actual footage of me just wanting to get some nice footage for the video and then I accidentally jump scare myself. Ah, oh, fucking! Oh! Just as a quick note to this, I did this whole thing because I just wanted to play around with it. This system is extremely suboptimal and I'd probably never use a setup like this in an actual game. I practically made this using game jam level code, but it works and it's a nice showcase, I think. I really hope you enjoyed. I don't know what you need this information for this video, but I simply just thought it was a fun little project to work on. Overall, I used just a couple of hours on this, so editing the video has actually taken longer than the project itself. Uh, but all I can say is, if you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like and a subscribe, and I just hope that you have a wonderful day.